Hey everybody, I'm sorry if the lighting isn't very good. Lighting was never my forte at film school. It's something I've always been particularly bad at, so I feel like I've really excelled today at being bad at lighting. So yeah, I wanted to come back with something a bit more positive. So what's more positive than a favourites video? Today I don't have that many actual like physical objects or items to show you. I have mostly music and TV recommendations. Also, please don't ask what's going on with my hair today. I really don't know. I don't know. You know, it looked alright earlier and then I went out into the snow and it got obliterated so definitely I have to start by saying that my favorite thing of the last couple of days has definitely been you. I don't want to sound lame or something but in my last video just your comments and the amount of people who sent me emails, the amount of new people who signed up to my Patreon, the amount of people who've offered me a place to spend Christmas, the number of you who have opened your hearts to me and just been so kind, especially at a time when I've really needed the kindness. Comments here on YouTube and on Instagram and on Facebook and even on Twitter and some on Tumblr, just reading the, the kind, warm words that so many of you sent, I feel like that's really ushering in a, a much brighter, happier, better all-round um, chapter of life. Plenty of you gave me advice, a lot of you said that you could completely understand that you'd been in a similar situation. I know it's a bit of a cliche now to say that something gives you life, but I really truly mean it from the warmest, pinkest part of my heart. Uh, when I say that your comments and messages from the last couple of days have given me life. They have been so warming to the soul that just thank you so much for your kind words. It's really, really helped a lot. My favourite thing at the moment is definitely you. Thank you for just being here. Thank you for watching my channel. Thanks for hanging out with me. How about I get on with the, the favourites as usual? Okay, so the last weekend I went to Berlin to go see Marilyn Manson in concert. I've never seen him in concert before because I'm from New Zealand and nobody ever comes to New Zealand. I was mortified when I heard that he had that accident. I thought, oh my god, the tour's gonna be cancelled. First I was like, shit, is he okay? Is he okay? Is he is he gonna die? I experienced the sudden like horror of feeling hollow as if like a, you know, like as if it were like a family member or something. As much as I didn't actually think the show was that great. I thought it was good, but not great. Like he didn't really interact with the crowd or anything and uh, they didn't really seem like they cared so much. It was just this kind of sense of we're here because we have to be, not because we want to be. You know what I mean? So I, I think maybe I just I just expected more from the show, but I did still enjoy it. And I must say I had a lot of respect for the fact that he came on and did the show anyway in a wheelchair. <laughs> like for some of it he had like a crutch kind of thing, but he did do some of it in a wheelchair. They actually added something to it. It was pretty cool. So anyway, one of my latest favourite things has been his new album, Heaven Upside Down. I bought it on vinyl. I don't like every song on here. There's a couple I don't particularly like. In general, I think this is a really good album, especially compared to his previous one. I really didn't like The Pale Emperor, but Heaven Upside Down is a good album. Have you heard it? Do you have a favourite song from the album? My favourite song is definitely Satan. That is a cool song. That is a really good song. I love it. And I think my second favourite would be We Know Where You Fucking Live. That is a good song. And he, he played both of those, so yeah! Something I of course like about this vinyl is that when you open it, it's got this inside here. It's got the sigil of Lucifer, which you might recognise from, wait for it, my bag! The Black Friday Bag by Evelina de Moray. While I'm here and while I'm holding it, I might as well take the opportunity to say that for those of you who've ordered it, there has been some delays with manufacturing, but you should get them before Christmas. That is the goal, is that you will get them before Christmas. And if you do want one and you haven't ordered yet, there are still a few places available for pre-order because we did like a big extension because we sold out of these in three days. <laughs> the pre-order sort of thing sold out in three days, so we extended it. So if anybody wants one of these, you should be able to get them before Christmas, fingers crossed. Like, it, it's nobody's fault, it's the manufacturers, so I'm very sorry that it's taken longer than it was supposed to, but uh, I think it should be worth it. So I thought it was pretty cool that I've got the sigil here and Manson has it on his new album. Other music that I've been particularly digging lately is um, I discovered a new band called La Scaltra. I haven't got anything to show you or whatever, but um, I sort of just found them by accident. I'll link it below for you. They have this wonderful classic gothic sound and yet they're brand new. Yeah, I like it and I thought that's maybe something I can recommend you if you like that kind of music. And finally with music is one of my favourite bands you know I've been to see a couple of times is The Devil in the Universe. They brought out a new album a wee while ago called Folk Horror. And once again, like all of their albums, it's beautiful. There's some really good music on there. 
I hope you like it. I'll link that below for you as well. You can in fact hear one of the songs from that album in the background of this video. So there you go, you've already heard some of it. I do have a couple of objects before I talk about TV stuff. You know when you see me do those teeth whitening videos and for some reason people are like super interested in the subject of me whitening my teeth, I guess because they're so heinously yellow and the world wants to know what works. <laughs> Sometimes people do compliment me and say, oh they're definitely looking better. But what I have started using every day, just with like when I brush my teeth, is this charcoal. Like the same company who makes the teeth whitening kits also do this, char this charcoal. It's I think it's the same kind of charcoal that you can use if you want to make like black lemonade or whatever. I don't think you can even see in there. I don't think my camera wants to focus because it is dying. But yeah, it is just, it's a black abyss. There is, this is a nearly full jar. Maybe you can't tell because it's just black it's very black it's no longer a secret that charcoal does whiten your teeth and it seems very weird to just brush your teeth with charcoal but i must say i have noticed that it does work they also do these little eco-friendly bamboo toothbrushes with these special magical black bristles i guess they have like charcoal bristles or something i don't really know how that works but my normal toothbrush has black bristles like that. It's supposed to have extra whitening powers, I don't know. But anyway, so like what I've been doing for the last while is just when I brush my teeth, I just dip the toothpaste a little bit into the charcoal and brush my teeth that way. It looks grim, it's like real black. Charcoal with its absorby powers, it manages to absorb the crap out of your teeth. I don't know how it works really, but it does work. It does have a noticeable effect. It has actually kept my teeth looking nicer. So that is from Smile Sciences, like I said, the same company who makes the teeth whitening kits that I use, the bubblegum flavored ones. And yeah, pretty sure you can also use this in like your black lemonade or, or maybe you can't, I don't know, this one's got peppermint oil in it. Hmm, I guess that's so it makes your breath smell nice. I like the fact that that's like a natural way of doing it, that that's using just like a natural ingredient, not a chemical, uh, if that makes sense. You know, I'm not all into the kawaii and the cute plush things so much. When I was a lot younger, I was very much into Hello Kitty and cute Japanese characters like that, but sort of the only two cute Japanese characters that I'm still kind of in love with are Gloomy Bear and Nemu Neko. You know, the sleepy kitty. I didn't own a Nemu Neko plush and I really wanted one. I really want one of the, the vampire Nemu Neko plushes, but um, <laughs> anyway, I was looking on eBay. I think I got these from eBay. I was looking for just a black Nemu Neko plush and I ended up finding slippers. <laughs> See, these are slippers and they are so ridiculously cute. I love these, so these are my these are my slippers now. They're round and they're warm and they're soft and they're really cute and uh, I love them so much. <laughs> I can't help but I like cute stuff. Anyway, last couple of things. A wee while ago I joined the masses. I signed up for Netflix. When I first got it I wasn't sure how much I liked it because here in Germany there didn't seem to be that much choice of stuff and of course a lot of it is in German. It has presented me with the opportunity to watch some popular shows and figure out why they're popular and the there's a couple of shows that I've particularly liked. The first show that I really truly fell in love with on Netflix and I know I'm really late to the party is Sherlock. <laughs> Okay, I resisted watching Sherlock for a long time because Sherlock Holmes is near and dear to my heart. Like, I am su I'm such a huge, serious fan of the original books. Like, I've read all of them so many times. In fact, I have some, like, published writing about Sherlock Holmes somewhere in the world that I really resist looking at any kind of modern adaptation of it, which is probably a bit stupid, but that's just how I've always been. So I decided I would give Sherlock a go. Some people told me not to watch the last season, which I did, and I, um, yeah, it wasn't as good. But before that, I must say, that has got to be the best modern adaptation of Sherlock Holmes that exists. I like that there are a lot of references in it that only people who knew the original books would get. It's just such good writing. It's ridiculous. It's such good writing. I was so impressed with the writing and like I studied screenwriting, I went onto the BBC website and I looked for some of the screenplays and read through them. I don't know, maybe that's a bit nerdy, but it was so, it was so good. I was quickly obsessed with Sherlock, just like everybody else who watches the show. Amazing. Uh, also, I've just finished watching a show called The Paradise. I feel like it's the sort of thing that a lot of people uh, might think is a bit boring, but I absolutely was captivated by it. It's a very beautiful looking series. Um, the story really 
keeps you going like I, I just would marathon it and I'm like no I've got stuff to do I, I have to go to bed now and then I'd be like sitting there until 3 or 4 in the morning watching The Paradise and I've reached the end of it and I'm so sad it kind of reminded me of the show Mr. Selfridge I really like that show have you seen that so it's a little bit in the same vein as Mr. Selfridge it's also a period drama it's also set in a department store but no I thoroughly enjoyed it and I'm really sad that I'm at the end of it now so I'm gonna have to find something else to watch um, if you have any recommendations for things that are on Netflix that I have to see, please go ahead and say below what those are. Because I value your recommendations and I'm sure you can suggest some good things for me. So thank you very much for watching. Like I said, um, thank you so much for helping me on the way into a more positive chapter of life. And uh, yeah, I, I am sort of planning to do just to focus more on like fun stuff with this channel. I want to just do more of like the the fun things that I've had in mind to do for ages, you know, and, and not do videos so often that I feel obliged to do, but videos that I really want to do and videos that I think that you will enjoy most. So with that, if you have not already subscribed to my channel and become a Belfry Bat, please hit the red button below and do so. I'm going to be away most of this week, but I will be making vlogs. I've got a nice adventure planned. It should be pretty good. I'm looking forward to it. As always, take care of yourselves. Be nice to each other. Thank you. You're completely wonderful. And I will see you next time. Bye.